to Tips with Andrew. I am Andrew Sapiano. Thank you so much for joining me on this happy Wednesday. I hope you guys are having an awesome week so far. Happy hump day. I hope you guys are rocking out whatever goals, hopes, plans, dreams, ambitions you have for this week and are making it happen. Um, quick updates uh, before we get started. Convention tickets have actually gone on sale this week month I guess <laughs> um, in, in July they actually increase in price so that's why we want to get in now and get our tickets at the lowest possible price um, you can definitely attend it in person it's going to be in Utah at the stadium where the Utah Jazz play if you or or, 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 that, <laughs> or somebody you know of is interested in attending um, it's going to be super cool this year um, convention is always an awesome time the theme this year is evolve Right? We're evolving into different people, different versions of ourselves, and we need to take it as we can. Uh, there's also a, um, a virtual stream going on, and that's the one that I'm super excited about. Um, they, the ticket, there's an option that comes with a cool swag box. Uh, you get some cool products in there, free stuff, different things that aren't actually available to the general public. So that's, that's really cool. I love getting stuff that uh, is not available to other people. Um, so if you're interested or somebody you know of is interested in attending convention this year, definitely reach out to me. We'll get you rocking and rolling. Um, like I said, tickets go up in price in July, so we want to lock in the lowest possible price. I believe the difference is like $50 or something. So definitely get on that while you can. Um, I have launched a weight loss course for beginners. It is an online digital course for download. If you or somebody you know of is interested in attending or attaining this course, definitely drop me a comment, send me a message, reach out to me. There's tons of cool stuff that comes along with the initial launch and I'm super excited to get it out there into the world for the masses to obtain. So definitely reach out to me. We'll get you rocking and rolling. Um, that's all I've got for you for today, or, or for the updates. Um, let's get right into today's topic. Today is actually National Fresh Vegetables Day. Perfect. All right. So today, what I wanted to talk about was some, some I guess, little known benefits um, of eating vegetables. Um, you know, I mean, everybody knows that we should <laughs> eat vegetables, and everybody knows that, you know, ve vegetables are kind of the building blocks of life, but nobody really thinks anything more than, yeah, I guess I need to eat them, <laughs> you know, <it's> cool, <laughs> right, right, so that's where I want to come on, give some benefits um, that really make you want to uh, enjoy your vegetables, right, fresh vegetables are, uh, you know, they're, they're really cool um, in, in all aspects, right, our, our bodies, we need, um, you know, a, a, a significant amount of nutrients on a daily basis, and this is actually, t um, Benefit number one right here is it provides these essential nutrients. Um, our bodies need significant amounts of nutrients every single day, right? Vitamin all the way uh, uh, through the alphabet, right? And then you need all the other stuff, right? Fiber helps with your digestion. Um, what are some other things, right? Iron helps with the building blocks of life. Calcium helps with bone health. Um, some other things, right? They help with digestion and brain health and body health and muscle growth and sleep health, hormone, uh, you know, it balances out, right? And, and these are all things that our body needs um, from the food that or, or it needs to be able to pre or perform at an optimal level, right? And the way that we get these nutrients are from our vegetables, right? And um, I, I, like I, I, you need a significant amount. Or like that's our bodies, right? Our bodies need a significant amount of a set of nutrients on a daily basis. I believe I heard something along the lines of if you were to eat all of your vegetables that your body actually needs on a daily basis, you would be eating somewhere around fourteen servings of fruits and vegetables. <laughs> wow. <laughs> 14 servings, let's get real here. I uh, I don't know about you, but I, I don't know that I'm doing too much more throughout the day if I was to eat 14 servings of fruits and vegetables. That's crazy, but that's that's it right there. That's our bodies just needing that those 
that amount of nutrients, right? That type of, of, you know, there's so many nutrients that our body needs because our body's got so many things going on with it all. Uh, there's so many functions going on. Um, I believe I heard something along the lines of if you were to consciously do all of your, uh, all of the actions that your body does on a daily basis without you actually even thinking about it, you would be overrun and down on the ground within, I believe it was a few hours, but it might have even been the day. That's how much is going on in our bodies on a daily basis that we don't even know about, right? Most of it, we don't even think about it, right? We, we, we walk, we, you know, we, we think about walking, we think somewhat about breathing, but not really. Um, we think about looking, but then there's all these other things that are going on without us actually even noticing, right? Our, our, our heart's always pumping blood. Blood is always rushing through our, our veins, right? Uh, our digestive system is always going. Our brain is always doing different things, right? Uh, stuff, stuff is always happening in our bodies, and that's why we need to we need to eat those vegetables because those vegetables give us those nutrients that our body needs to perform at an optimal level on a daily basis, right? It's really easy for us to just kind of go through the motions and not really think about it. But that's why we need to make the conscious effort to eat more vegetables in our da in our daily diet and actually, or in actually, <laughs> also what I would, you know, the, the thing that I like more than anything is just incorporating supplements. Right, 14 servings of fruits and vegetables is a lot to be eaten on a daily basis. Uh, but that's where we incorporate supplements, right? Perhaps a fish oil, um, you know, vitamin C pill or vitamin, right? Um, you know, vitamin D capsule, stuff like that, right? That that can help our bodies. Uh, just just you know, give give our bodies that little bit more assistance, if you will. Number two benefit number two of fresh vegetables: low calorie, low fat. That's it, right there. I, I heard something along the lines of, I believe it's celery, is more, it takes more to burn, or it takes more effort to burn calorie, or to burn celery, than it does to actually eat it. So you actually burn more calories by eating celery than you do consuming it. I mean, <laughs> that's a food right there that you can lose weight while eating it. I mean, Lose weight while eating? Sign me up for that diet. I, I can eat <laughs> with the best of them. Don't, <laughs> let me tell you. And if there's a diet where I can lose weight while eating, I am all for that right there. That is amazing. Um, it takes more, you burn more calories by eating celery than you do by eat, or than you do by eating it. So that's, <laughs> that's, you know, that's a, a huge benefit in itself. Another thing I read was, uh, broccoli has just about, if not more, uh, uh, grams of protein per serving than a, a, a serving size of steak, right? So you get the same protein from broccoli as you do from steak, right? Let me ask you, <laughs> intelligent universe, which, can, which has more calories in it, a serving of steak or a serving of broccoli? <laughs> I, don't, I don't believe it takes a rocket scientist to figure that out. So I mean that's just two examples right there, right? You can get low calorie, low fat foods and high protein, high fiber, right? Help help with your with your poop regulation. Um, you know, iron, high calcium, help with your bone health, right? And all this stuff comes from vegetables, and all this stuff is helping your body to perform on an optimal level um, without actually doing any detriment to your calorie count, right? A lot of times we don't care about counting calories and you know, there's the, the last thing we really want to do is, you know, take our 2000 calorie diet and start subtracting calories from it, right? That, <laughs> you know, get out of dodge with that. Nobody really wants to do that. Let's get real here. So that's why, that's why we eat the vegetables, right? Because when we eat the vegetables, we don't even really have to worry about it. The only real thing we have to worry about is the, uh, the natural sugars that come from it. But that's not even really anything to worry about because that's why we load up on our vegetables, right? That's why when we're eating out, 
Uh, for example, we're dining out, we're eating our vegetables first to get fuller off the vegetables, the low calorie, the low fat foods, and then that way we won't need to eat the high, the high calorie, the high fat foods, and we won't actually be that hungry to eat it. So I, I, that's why I love it. Um, you know, consider vegetables for your, uh, for a snack, right? Snacks are great. Don't, uh, don't deprive yourself of food. We always want to be eating when we're hungry, but we need to watch the type of snacks that we're eating, right? We can eat a serving size of celery and burn a whole bunch of calories, or we can eat a serving, or, you know, a bag of chips and a can of pop and have, um, you know, what, the, what's that? Like three, four hundred calories with, you know, 1,000 grams of sugar. I don't know. I'm just making numbers up here, but let's get real here, right? It just, it, it, it basically is. And you're not, there, there's no protein, so you're not getting full. There's no real vitamins and minerals in there, so you're not really getting any nutrients to help your body. So that's where <laughs> vegetables are a great alternative to pretty much anything you want to eat. And you can totally get uh, uh, protein and, um, you know, get full off of it. Number three helps the digestive system. This one is really cool because I heard something along the lines of there is if it, just as many, if not more, neurons in your digest or in your gut than there is in your brain. So there is just as much, if not more, maybe a little bit less going on in your gut as there as is, <laughs> as there is in your brain at any moment in time. Right, so as many, as many things as the, as, like your brain has a lot of functions going on with it. I believe the functions that it can perform per minute are what, it would, it would actually take you, what did I hear? Something along the line, some, somewhere around like 10 years, something, give or take, uh, to count the number of zeros of the amount of functions that your brain is going on on a daily basis. Right? So there is so many things that our brain does that we don't even think about and we can't even process, right? That's the same with our gut. Our, our digestive system, right? It's, 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 uh, it's vital or it's, it's the place where, you know, foods get broken down and they get distributed into the places the, 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 the nutrients get sucked out of the food and the, you know, it's the whole process, right? The nutrients get sucked out, used in the body where they're needed. And then the rest of it gets excreted through that, <laughs> through that whole process, right? So that's why we want to help ease the digestive system whenever we can, right? If we're, if we're pumping it with, you know, high fat foods and, um, you know, no real vitamins or minerals, then, you know, it's, it's really hard for it to do its job. It's really hard for it to perform at an optimal level. And that's where you get, you know, constipation, you get bloating, you get, you know, backed up. You can, it can lead to, you know, real conditions, right? Like real, um, bad stuff that can keep you hospital bound, right? So that's where we want to help the digestive system. You know, it, I mean, nobody likes to be backed up. Let's get real here, right? And there's what, anything that you can do. And when we feel our digestive system backed up and we feel like we're not really going the way that we should, what's the first thing that we do, right? We, <laughs> we eat vegetables. So, I mean, we do it as a, uh, you know, as a, you know, a, a lack of a better word, cure. Um, so why not let's do it as like a preventative measure, right? I don't know. So, today is National Fresh Vegetables Day. All right. So, we are talking some important benefits of eating fresh vegetables. Number one, essential nutrients for your body to perform at an optimal level. Number two, low calorie, low fat. Yeah, baby. Number three, helps your digestive system. Number four, helps aid in weight management. Yes, it is, it does, it can, it will, trust me. <laughs> and it helps in all of the ways that I, um, that I had mentioned before with our low calorie, right? And our low fats. Because if we're burning more calories, by eating celery than we are by consuming it, that's huge, right? That's helping boost the, the metabolism. Um, same thing with, with broccoli, right? With our, with our broccoli, um, example, we are a, a same, sir, or same amount of protein. And protein is, the, you know, we talk a lot about protein because protein is considered a macronutrient. Um, and that means that our body needs a significant amount of it on a daily basis. 
Also, protein in, in re, with regards to weight management helps to send a signal to our brain signifying that we're full. That's why we uh, eat our vegetables first um, at our meals, right? To, to send signals to the brain that we're getting full and we don't really need to eat as much meat or as much carbs as we normally would need to, right? Because we're eating our vegetables and we're getting fuller faster. Um, it also helps to boost your metabolism, right? Again, this is another way that I was talking about. Uh, we don't want to deprive ourselves of food. So if we're if we're eating, like I don't know, I, I'm just I'm just making up numbers here, right? But if we work from nine to five, right? So we work at nine o'clock. So we need to be awake. I would assume somewhere around seven o'clock. Um, time frame, right? And then seven o'clock, so 7.30, probably give or take, we're eating, right? Then what's lunchtime? I don't know, 12, one o'clock, right? So we went from 7.30 to 1, 1.30, right? That's five, six hours in between meals. So we need, you, you damn right, we need to eat in between there. And then when's dinner? Six, seven o'clock, right? That's another four, five, six hours away from that meal. Right? And even if we did that, that's 12 hours and we've only eaten twice. Right? We don't want to eat twice in 12 hours. We want to eat more than that. And we want to be, we, we don't want to deprive ourselves of food. We want to actually eat when we're hungry. So when we're hungry, we need to, that's where we need to have our, you know, our healthy snacks on the go. Uh, we need to be mindful of what we're eating. We need to, um, you know, do what we can. One of the quotes that I love reading was, uh, if you have healthy food in your fridge, you will eat healthy food because that's just the way it is. It's also, you know, there's the, the funny one going around that, you know, you, you, you're, you go grocery shopping and then nighttime you see the food that daytime you bought and was like, why, man, why'd you do that for? None of that's good. It's all healthy. And that's, you know, it, it's a joke, right? But that's really what it is. Um, if you have healthy food on hand, you're going to eat healthy food, right? So it, it all real starts with your grocery shop and what you have in the food, but Vegetables, man, they're going to help with your weight management goals, I promise. Number six helps to lower blood pressure. And I like talking about this one because this was actually a cause in my dad's uh, passing away. He dealt with high cholesterol for most of his life and high blood pressure ultimately <clears throat> was one of the leading causes that took him away from us. So that's where, you know, that's where we need to make a conscious effort. High, or high cholesterol comes from the high fat, the high salt diet, right? The high, uh, or the high, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, the carb, the carbohydrates, right? A high carb diet. So that's where we need to make the conscious effort, right? High cholesterol or high blood pressure is a real thing, right? It can lead to all sorts of, um, uh, you know, a plethora of bad things happening. Uh, heart failure, right? Um, aneurysms, which if they burst, they can be life-threatening. Um, you know, kidney failure, heart failure, all sorts of this stuff, right? Um, when you have high blood pressure, what's happening is your arteries are starting to clog, right? I mean, there's a, you know, there's a, 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 a saying that's a joke kind of, but, you know, I, want, I, I with this food, I can feel my arteries clogging, right? And that's sort of what happens. It's not really, you, you, you can't feel your arteries clogging, but, you know, with most of the food that you eat nowadays, especially when you go out, and about right on the town, everybody's talking about uh, bigger serving sizes for less money, right? So there, it, and it's not always good. It's not always good for you food because good for you food doesn't really taste that good. I I, I read a quote earlier that I love that. Uh, um, oh, I can't remember it word for word, but something along the lines of the world would be a lot healthier place if vegetables smelled and smelled and tasted as good as bacon. Right? I mean, bacon is, uh, I, I can just picture Homer Simpson, right? Oh, bacon. And that, that's really, you know, it, you laugh at it, but that's what it is, right? If, if, if vegetables tasted as great as bacon, I guarantee that it would not be, you know, high cholesterol would not be the leading cause. I don't know if it's the leading cause, but one of the leading causes of, you know, death, especially up here in North America, USA and Canada, right? We're, really bad for it. So eat your vegetables, lower your blood pressure, 
but I also read that you don't want to lower it too much, right? <laughs> Low, lower it too much and then that stops your heart from pumping very well and that's bad too. So eat your vegetables and help maintain that blood pressure, right? <laughs> not too high, not too low, just, just right in the middle there. Number six, they're more inviting, right? I, I, I like this one because, side note, water. Water is actually, a, 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 our body needs a lot of water on a daily basis. And water is actually a great way you can consume that from vegetables. Vegetables like cucumbers, um, watermelon, right? Celery is another one that's a good one. So they, that's, a, that's a different, that's sort of like a cheat code way to get uh, your water intake. But, they're, you know, they're, they are more inviting, right? When you have a plate of vegetables that are, you know, you got your, your, your color schemes and everything is looking different and you've got different colors and it's just this array, right? And this, this like rainbow thing on a plate and it just looks really cool, right? It looks fun. It makes you want to be there sitting at the table with that plate, right? If you, now I get it, right? If you've got a plate of spinach, spinach and, and kale and broccoli and celery and, you know, to a certain extent cucumbers, right? I'm, I'm talking about the same color, right? It can be a lot like you're eating vegetables and you don't really want to be there anymore. So that's why we, you know, we need to make the conscious effort to make it look fun and inviting. But when you do, it does look very inviting. And I like, I can be the first uh, to attest that when we get, when we buy one of those, uh, yeah, you know, sometimes we cheat and we buy some of those vegetable platters from the store. Uh, but when we buy those, right, I, I like looking at them to the point where I will to choose that over a lot of stuff in the fridge just because that looks more inviting, right? It looks like it's something that I want to have. And, you know, let's get real here, right? If we're going to eat our vegetables, if we're going to be excited about them, we have to do something that makes it exciting. And why not... Um, you know, have that nice color scheme that makes it pop, right? It makes it the, the sort of the catcher of your eye, right? So it's something, you know, just a, a similar side story, right? McDonald's, uh, their big red and yellow sign. You can see that from basically anywhere and realize that that's, um, that's a McDonald's, right? They did that on purpose because red and yellow are very eye-catching, right? It catches your eye right away. That's what you need to take that mindset into the vegetables in your fridge and make them able to catch your eye so that that's the first thing that you're going for and not something else that, you know, may or may not help you in your wellness goals. And then my last thing that I've got here, and it's not so much a benefit of vegetables, but it's essential oils. And essential oils are, you know, it, it, it is a byproduct of the vegetables, right? They come from the rind. Um, you know, most um, essential oils come from fruits. Um, they come from the rind of the fruit, right? And they give you some, I, I, I would say some, most, if not all of the benefits that that, uh, you know, fruit or vegetable gives you. And the first one I've got here is tangerine. And tangerine is actually great for, that's, you know, vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin whatever you want to call it. And I actually love using this one. This is actually one of my favorite oils. And I love this one. Um, on top of it being a citrus oil, so it's great for cleansing, detoxifying your insides. Um, I actually love adding a drop to my water, and then that, that way I can actually in, up my water intake. A lot of the things I hear about people not liking water, or they don't uh, have all their water, uh, is because they don't like the, the, the bland taste of water, right? It's just not very, well, inviting. <laughs> So that's why I love using the tangerine, just put a drop in my water and make it, you know, real, um, you know, enlightening or enlivening, I guess we will. And, uh, and, and, and very inviting in that aspect. And then my last oil that I have here is green mandarin. And green mandarin I brought out because that's actually Tina's favorite oil. And I thought, you know what, when we're at the end of the day, when we're talking about health, wellness, right, eating right, doing things that, that make us happy, doing things that are good for us, right, we need to be in a happy mood. And we need to be smiling, right, and we need to make it so that it's good for us as much as, um, you know, it's, it's making us happy. So, you know, why not take an oil that is one of your favorites and incorporate it into a, an activity that may or may not be you know, as exciting as, as you would want it to be, right?
That's all I got for you for today. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I know I had some fun making it. Feel free to share this, right, with your friends, a family member, perhaps somebody from your team that you feel needs to hear this. If you'd like to learn more about essential oils or how to get your hands on some of this cool stuff that I'm talking about, or if you would like a free sample of oils just to give it a try before you commit to a full product, definitely reach out to me and drop me a comment, send me a message saying me, and we'll get you rocking and rolling. Thank you so much for joining me. I really hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and an even better week. And I look very forward to talking to you again. I love you guys. Bye for now.